guys, I'm getting ready to plant up some of my seeds that I need to start indoors early, like onions, kale, and some other stuff I'll show you. And uh, I wanted to show you an order of seeds that I got from Botanical Interests. Okay, so this is my order from Botanical Interests. It came in this cute box. Um, these guys are in Colorado and I'm in Utah, so <clears throat> we kind of have the same growing zone or climate or whatever you want to call it. I mean, depending on what part, but I think we're even because they actually sell the seeds from botanical interest at the nursery that's next to me. So, anywho, so I got some Blue Lake beans and I'm going to um, scooch up here a little because the, the packages are really pretty. So Blue Lake Beans, these are probably the most popular where I live. Um, contender, I grew these last year and they were awesome. Like, they did really, really well. So I got some of those. Um, I got a couple peas. I've done the Green Arrow before, loved them. Those are really good ones. And then I have um, some, they're called Progress Number no. 9. And I've never grown those or even heard of them before. So those will be fun to try. I wanna have a lot of peas this year so that I can uh, freeze some. Cause we just ate some peas last night for dinner from the grocery store. Blech, they were yucky, frozen ones. Okay. I got some yellow sweet Spanish, the Utah. And then accidentally I got two packs of uh, Walla Walla onions, which are awesome. Last time we grew these, they got huge. Um, I didn't start them from seed though. I bought the little sprouts. So I don't know, this will be fun. And I guess I'll just use one pack now and then I'll do another one plant some more towards the middle of the summer so that we'll have some in the fall. Okay, now we're getting to some fun stuff that I'm excited about. I always love all the gourds and pumpkins and stuff like that. Um, so this is just a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Um, this one's supposed to get like 10 inches tall. What the, that's about like this big, 10 inches wide, like supposed to be the size of a he human head. Um, mine's probably a little bigger than that because I have a big head, but uh, yeah, so that'll be fun. I love, I love gourds and pumpkins. They're so fun. I've been wanting this one for a couple years. Um, this one's the, the um, squash winter delicata, but, and it's the honey boat variety. Really excited to try this one because um, I just love eating squash throughout the winter. You know, you don't have to can it um, or anything. You just pull it out, roast it up, eat it, and it tastes fresh, you know, like good, good from your garden. I love it. So I got a bunch of squash. Um, the... Uh, squash Winter Kurinashiki Kabocha. Excited for that one. This one is a pretty small, it's like three or four pounds it says, but I think it gets quite a few on it. And I mean, that's the perfect size I think for me and my husband. Maybe even, yeah. Sometimes we um, take squash, it's really good with spaghetti squash and you put um, the white sauce, what's it called? Um, you, it's the one you do with noodles. It's like Classico at the grocery store. Uh, it'll come to me later and I'll say it. But you just put that white sauce on it and then some of that, uh, we like to put the, the chicken that's in the can on it. Oh, it's so good, so good. It's also good just plain. And I've also made squash into like mashed potatoes and they're beautiful and I loved them. It's kind of like baby food. Um, some of the people in my family were like, 
<laughs> but it really tasted good. So it's just different, you know. They wanted mashed potatoes and I did those and yeah, but I like to try new things. So and it'd probably be really good with um, gravy over it because it'd be like the sweet and salty together. I'm gonna try that and I'll let you know. Okay, this one's called squash, winter squash Lakota. And I got that one just because it's so pretty. I really love the green and orange mix on that one. This one gets to be, uh, it doesn't say how big. We'll see. I have a feeling it will be on the smaller end. And this was, this is another um, winter squash called red curry. And I think this one will be smaller too. Three to four pounds, yeah. Oh, and then this one. This one's a winter squash called sweet meat. And it's a blue pumpkin. It's like a blue pumpkin squash. And I've been trying to grow the Jardel, Jardel pumpkins because I wanted that color. And the last two years I have, and they the vines have died from, probably from those darn um, borers, or what are they called? Squash bugs. They're squash bugs, or vine borers, I think. Do they call them that? I think so. But, uh, so, we, you know, I don't know if you've been watching, been with me for a while, but we we did a new no-dig garden system. We put cardboard down in our garden and we went to the, just to the dump where people bring their tree limbs and they make them into a, into a, <laughs> why can I not think of words? Um, mulch like mulch, but bark, bark. I think that's it. They make it into little wood chips. Oh my gosh, why can't I think of that? Okay, but anyway, and so we bought like some big truckloads of that from the dump and put it over the cardboard in the garden. It works awesome, but other than, I think that's where, because we never had squash bugs before that. So I think they must have either come in on the, wood chips or else it just gave them a nice little refuge to hide under during the winter. And so now we have that issue, which kind of sucks, but I think it's still worth it in the long run. I've just got to be super proactive and aggressive to get rid of those little buggers. But anyway, my point is that I thought maybe these would do better. I'm still going to try to grow the Jardels. Um, but I'll try these two and we'll see because I really like a green pumpkin looking thing. Okay, so I bought all those and then they sent me a free thank you pack of sunflowers, which is cool because I think I needed sunflowers. Um, this is a tall sunflower. I don't know. It doesn't say a lot about what it's going to look like, but that'll be fun. I love sunflowers. Um, we've just got them randomly coming up because last year I didn't even collect them for my chickens or anything. I didn't purposely plant any of them. They just all came up by themselves, and so I'm sure they're gonna do the same thing this year because the birds, I mean basically the birds were just eating out of them and you know they make them drop and uh, I wanted the birds actually because they, I was thinking they'd help with the vine, with the squash bugs. So, and I think they did because it was way better last year, but I did still lose the um, Jardel pumpkin, but everything else did okay. And I did my own fair amount of squash in them too. So, okay, well let's go and plant some of these seeds. Okay, so I've got my soil. I put about eight to 10 cups of this size of soil and then two of this size of this perlite. I've got my trays that I'm gonna put them on. I have some little 
tongue depressors that I'm going to use from last year, Mark. And I've decided I'm going to start all my onions. So I've got the bunching onions. Uh, the two I just showed you, Walla Walla and Yellow Sweet Spanish. Uh, Texas Early Grano. I planted these last year, but they didn't really work out. So hopefully it'll do better this year. Stuck Garter. Unzen Flat. These did work. The Bulgarian Giant Leeks, and they're good. Uh, Southport Red Globe. And then the Weathersfield Red. I'm also going to be doing my kale. My artichoke. This is the Imperial Star. And then all my iris that I cross-pollinated. So I've got three, four, five. Five different ones. I'm excited about that. Okay, and I'm gonna be using this size of pot because I have a whole bunch of these. Are some onions that went to seed last year. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, you can see the seeds in there. This is the flower, and then on every little flower, there's a seed inside. I'm just covering them up a little bit with the soil. All right, got the bunching onions planted, the iris, the leeks, the kale. So let's go put them under the light. Got them set up under the light. I'm just spraying them. 